Now it's very simple, we just need to unwrap this object and it's very easy to do. So this is found in the Z plugin menu. Right down the bottom we have UV Master, so we can click on that. And scroll on the sides of this is uh, a good tip in ZBrush. And then we can just click on use existing UV seams, because they're the ones that we've made in Maya. <coughs> so click on that. Now all we have to do is that's just gone, is just hit unwrap. So hit unwrap. And that's actually unwrapped our object for us. Now to see how this looks, we just have to come in here and come down to uh, Z plugin, uh, UV master, and then flatten. We can see what those UVs look flat. And you can see how this has unwrapped the face. Now it's made a mistake with those UVs there. So uh, which object is that? That is the, the mouth. It looks like the back of the head have not worked. So we can come in and tweak those. Uh, in a second, but for now I'm going to uh, just go with this, so let's uh, <coughs> unflatten. Usually it works fine first time. Unflatten, and we can send that back to Maya. So we go um, export, simply export. Now this is like, uh, we can just put it in the UV master data or in the desktop. Okay, so load that up just by going file import, and we can load that up here. You can see it's called Z head brush. Head ZBrush unwrapped. Uh, to remove the namespacing, if you need to do that, on my sh keyboard shortcuts, you can hit Shift 6, or that is in the window general editors uh, namespace editor. We can just remove that by going delete and merge with root. Now it will just be called group 2. And this is now our object which has been unwrapped in ZBrush.